Hello there and welcome back my friends to another video. In this video we're going to be discussing the types of light you can use to grow macroalgae in your aquarium or refugium. The lights you can see now are examples of the different kinds of LED light that you can use to grow macroalgae. There are quite a few different types, a few different spectrums and they all have their advantages and disadvantages. And that's what I'm going to discuss today. Which one of these lights and which one of these spectrums should you be using to grow your macroalgae? But we're not going to go into too much detail in terms of particular spectra. We're just going to look at these lights, the colours in general that they have on them and which I find best to be used for macroalgae. So in general, there are actually three different kinds of light which you can buy to grow macroalgae. We have the pink lights, which are made of red and blue LEDs. We have your standard reef lights. So these are more tailored towards the blue end of the spectra. And then we have your freshwater plant lights. To answer the question of what light should you put onto your reef tank to grow macroalgae, you need to kind of make a decision as to what your tank's going to be. Is your tank a refugium? Is your tank a mixed reef that's going to have corals as well as macroalgae? Or is your tank solely going to be a planted marine tank with lots of macroalgae and maybe a few corals? And the reason you need to decide this is because all of these lights will actually grow macroalgae. They'll grow macroalgae at different rates and they'll grow different colours of macroalgae at different speeds. And that's because of the specific spectrums that different colours of macroalgae require. In general, green macroalgae prefer 6500K lighting, so that's normal uh, freshwater kind of sunlight spectrum that you'd put on a freshwater planted tank. In general, green macroalgae prefer that. And that's because of the depth which green macroalgae live in the wild. And in general, red macroalgae live a little bit deeper than green macros and prefer the blue end of the spectrum. Red macroalgae prefer bluer light and green macroalgae prefer more of a daylight spectrum. So going back to my question of what tank you're running, it does depend which tank you're running. Because if you're doing a refugium, you're probably mostly concerned about the speed at which your algae is growing. And it will probably be something like Cheeto or Calerpa. So in the case of a refugium where you're not looking at the tank, you're just putting algae in there to grow, to suck out nitrates and phosphates, then your best bet would be to go for one of these red and blue LEDs because this colour of light will hit the chlorophylls in green algae perfectly. Normally if you get a decent quality one of these lights, they're specifically tailored for growing freshwater plants or terrestrial plants. And this is what you're going to be going for. However, if you're going for the other two types of tank where you have macroalgae in your display tank, or indeed your display tank is purely macroalgae, then you're not going to want pink light because you're not going to be able to appreciate your display. So pink light would be in this situation completely out of the question. And that leaves us with the other two options of a reef light or a freshwater planted light. So which one of these do you choose? Well, if you've got a mainly coral based system and you just want some few macroalgae in there, just as a bit of a sprucer, then I'd go for the full spectrum reef light. Full spectrum is the important keyword here because as well as having lots of blue in this LED, it also has um, some 6500K, it also has some red LEDs, and it will probably hit some other spectrums within it. What you don't want is purely actinic blue going up to something like 15 to 20K because you're not going to be hitting enough of the green and red spectrum to grow your macroalgae properly. And finally, in the other situation where you're doing a completely planted saltwater tank, I would highly recommend you opt for the freshwater style LEDs. So these are ones which are full spectrum, but they're less blue. They're more tailored towards the freshwater spectrum of 6,500K, although they will have higher peaks and lower peaks than that. And the reason I go for these personally is because they cover all the bases. As I've already mentioned, 
Red and green and even brown macroalgaes, they all have different needs as to the spectrum of light that they, they require. And I have found that the full spectrum freshwater LEDs give me better growth than a reef blue LED. And these freshwater LED lights, they give me very, very good growth. This is a new tank, so it's not particularly rammed with macros at the moment. And over that, I've got a five foot um, Interpet tri-spec light. Now this one is designed mainly for freshwater, although it can cover corals as well, but it's designed really for planted tanks. And it gives me fantastic growth of macroalgae. On this one, I've got a fluval plant 3.0. And again, it gives me wicked growth on both reds and green macroalgae. Again, over here, we've got the tri-spec and we have the tri-spec on this one as well. And I found very, very good growth in both red and green macroalgae. Now, obviously, this light that it gives off is a little bit more yellow than a reef light. So these tanks look a little bit more uh, yellow and less blue. Now, if you're going to be putting corals in here, you're not going to be getting the fluorescence that you normally get under a blue light. So you might not like the look of the light that the freshwater spectrum gives you. And that's why I said, if you're gonna be having corals, you're probably better off using the reef spectrum LEDs. Another thing I'd like to just discuss a little bit as well is how much and how intense should your lighting be? So in terms of growing macroalgae, I found that a photo period around 10 to 14 hours uh, works really well. And that works for both reds and greens. However, if you're growing just Calerpas or Cheeto, you can actually leave your light on for 24 hours and it's fine. There is such a thing as too much light when it comes to algae, And I found that red macroalgae really do prefer a dimmer light than a really, really bright light. And they like to be a little bit deeper in the tank than uh, the green macroalgae do. In fact, if you have too much light on a red macroalgae, it will pale out a little bit. This Botria Cladia, is quite deep. It's probably around three feet away from the LED. And this Botry Cladia is pretty much right next to the LED. And you can see the color difference. One is a lot lighter than the other. And that's because this one's being a bit overexposed by this LED. It's probably about four or five inches away. And like I said, this one is about three feet. So really don't want too much light when it comes to your red macros. So I hope this video hasn't been too boring or too technical. It's a really hard subject to actually make an interesting video on, but it's one that I wanted to do. If you've liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.